Ooh. Hi everybody, welcome to Taco Challenge. My name is Sarah, I'm the artist band Pinselgeschichten and each Thursday I challenge myself to one of three things. Either I do take a word from a word generator and try to make a painting with it or I rework a very old painting or an older painting, see how I evolved, what I learned using a different, uh, a certain medium, stuff like that. And the third option is to take a background from uh, somebody else who painted something or drew something and then I try to, well, complete a painting with it. And today is such a week. So this particular piece here was done by Tina. She tried watercolors for the first time and unfortunately I don't have a video of her putting this together because it was just a trial, um, like trying out how the medium actually works, what it does, what, how it behaves when you do certain things. So uh, unfortunately again no video footage but I kept the piece because I kind of like it and I see something in it and I thought oh, maybe I could just well make a make a painting with it. So this one very clearly for me at least only works in one direction because I see something right away when I have it in this direction. If I uh, rotate it not so much, no. I Just the way the colors are put down and uh, the structure and texture, especially up here, says sky with clouds, uh, meadow, grass, something. And something that's either flying away or the blossom of a flower, something like that. So I have to keep it in this direction. But uh, I do see two of uh, two different things, like right away, spot on. I don't even have to think about it. I don't have to look at the patterns very much because just the way the colors are put together say something to me. And uh, I think with this painting, I would only touch up so to say. I would enhance or define some parts and others I will probably leave alone completely, especially the sky. I would leave that alone because the way the water flowed here um, just works nicely for uh, having depth, having clouds. Uh, so I probably wouldn't, wouldn't work on top of the blue section that colory blob here in the middle is another story but the blue section in the background would probably not work on that. I would very likely and I think that's what I'm gonna do define things on the green part, uh, grass, maybe bushes, maybe flowers, something. Just enhance certain sections, produce depth there and Depending on what I'm gonna do with the blob, um, have either a very uh, smooth and very light lined horizon line here, or just keep it pretty rough, depending on what I'm gonna do, like I said. With the blob here, again, I do see two things, either a bird or a butterfly or something starting off. So this is the front section here, either the head or the midsection of the butterfly. And then there's wings. Now the yellow on top here actually says bird to me because with butterflies, you have a very defined line of, um, of the wings. But with birds, you could get maybe into the fantasy section there. More like um, a phoenix maybe that has very interestingly spread feathers on the wings and the tail. So maybe I could incorporate the yellow a bit more. Um, which would mean I would probably have, if I go with bird, I would 
maybe have one or two in, uh, in the background because I like odd numbers when it comes to the focal point and that blob here suddenly is the focal point and uh, have only grass or shrubbery greenish stuff on the meadow if I'd say this is the blossom of a flower and you pretty much have the stem connected to this blob here which could be the leaves then I would uh, work differently on the green section because then I'd have to um, change the angle so let's say this is the flower I as the viewer would sit very uh, close to earth and look straight onto the flower. If this is a bird, however, I could be standing up and uh, look down at the at the grass and the meadow thingy and look kind of straight slightly up towards that bird section here. Now the question really is which one I'm gonna take? Uh, do I feel flower? Because then I would have to add a few more blossoms as well. Again, odd numbers. This one is centered too, which is not my favorite thing in, in a painting. Usually I um, put my focal point towards one end or one corner of the painting, not spot on. So that actually would lead me towards the bird because then I could maybe here in the further distance have two more birds so that you kind of shift the focal point to the right section here. I wouldn't do it to the left because the left would tell me closer, like closer to the viewer, to me. To the right I could uh, put the birds way more into the distance. So what am I gonna do? And that's the big question. So just as uh, a note here, it's April that I'm filming this video. So the uh, media that I've focused on this month are charcoal and pastels, meaning chalk or oil pastels and uh, charcoal. Now I think this week I wouldn't probably go with uh, the oil pastels because I only have two colors there. Um, I do have an array of colors in uh, pastel chalks, so I think I would go with pastel chalks and not necessarily go for the charcoal or um, the uh, oil pastels. I'm just looking off to the side to my supplies. Maybe charcoal for the frame, but maybe I don't give it a frame, I don't know yet. I will definitely tape it down because I want sections of that piece be untouched by me. Uh, I like to do that with these backgrounds. I want something of the raw material peek through and not have the whole sheet of paper be covered with what I do on top. So I think I go for the bird. Define this one, work on the green section, add two more birds in the distance and leave the sky alone as it is. I think that would work. We'll see. I will um, do that now. You can watch along and then uh, video editing magic. In about uh, two minutes <laughs> I'm back with you and uh, tell you how it went, uh, what I liked, what maybe uh, made me struggle or other thoughts that I have. So stay tuned, uh, watch along and enjoy!
this is my painting I'm go gonna call it take off because the birdie is pretty much just taking off and following his friends over there so yeah there were some things that really went well and some things that I kind of struggled with uh, the things really going well were all of the greeneries and the frame pretty much um, no matter if I used uh, the soft pastels or the, the pastel pencils, that worked fine. I really had no trouble. Uh, so that was easy, the green section. The uh, birdie section up here, not so much. Especially uh, the wing on the left-hand side. That was kind of difficult because the um, color underneath was not in the perfect angle for me to make two um, mirrored wings. So this one is way narrower than this one. Um, the angle up here is a bit different, but then I thought uh, maybe just tilt the birdie a bit to the left hand side so you're not looking straight on to his back when he's taking off but this wing is a bit higher this one is a bit lower and then it kind of works so I had to work around shading quite a bit to even attempt to do that and I think I accomplished that so much it's not perfect so the birdie was quite a bit difficult there. Um, 
I do like the feathers in the back here on the tail. They worked out nice, but those here, I like this one. I don't, I'm not too happy with that one. But all in all, I think it's, it's a sweet painting. It's kind of weird. It's um, a painting that, or drawing that you could interpret or see multiple things, especially with the sky up here. I think there's lots of things to see. Um, just by the way, the color flows, I do say, <laughs> see um, a whale blowing uh, air on this section here. There's just tiny things that you could possibly see that are not too much in your face, like uh, the, the drawing that I put on top. This is the obvious thing, but there's way more that you can see on uh, the outskirts that I didn't touch. So I hope you enjoyed watching along. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I would love that. Also, if you want to send me a background, let me know at info at uh, I will uh, do a painting with your background, then send the painting back to you. And I will also give you a social media shout out. So if you like, send me a background, challenge me, be part of the taco challenge. Um, I will talk to you tomorrow on a new Friday video. It's gonna be urban. I can tease that already. And uh, have a very good day. Thank you for watching again. And uh, do all the good YouTube stuff. Like, share, subscribe and close up photos of this one as of any paintings or drawings that I do are on my blog. So hop on over. All the info is in the description box below. Have a very good one. I will see you next week on this uh, format here with a rework painting, which is going to be fun, I think. So have fun, take care, go create. Bye bye.